Hello everyone, today I have the 2018 Honda Odyssey and even though I have probably negative need for a van, I'm pretty excited about this and I think it looks really sharp so I can't wait to tell you all about it on this episode of Graponi Drive. This is the fifth generation of the Honda Odyssey and back in 1995 when it first debuted, Honda was really proud because they had a four-door minivan with a third row magic seat which was the first of its kind and it had a four-cylinder engine so not only was it economical at that time but it was also powerful today we have upgraded to a 3.5 liter earth dreams v6 it's bumped up to 280 horsepower which is 32 more than it was in the 2017 model and 262 pound-feet of torque which is 12 more than it was last year so we've gotten a nice bump but we've kept with the same fuel economy. In fact, we even added one on the highway, which is fantastic. That is due in part to the two different transmission options. On the LX through EXL, you get a nine-speed automatic. And for the first time ever on any front-wheel drive vehicle, totally built and designed by Honda, you get a 10-speed automatic transmission in the Touring and Elite. We have the Touring today, so we'll get to try out that 10-speed automatic, and I'll let you know how it drives as we're going. This 2018 model is entirely new for Honda and you can really see that they've redone it to kind of fit in with the rest of the family theme. So you have this nice wing grille on the front and there are nice features that have been added for safety and for fuel economy. For one, on the Touring and Elite, we now have full LED headlights and LED fog lights, which is a nice touch. And along the bottom behind that grille are active grille shutters, which open and close as need be to help improve your fuel economy and the heating and HVAC system as well. As we go down the side, standard on every Odyssey now is at least 18 inch alloys, up to 19s on that new Elite. We have the turn signal mirrors, and this nice flowing uh, lightning bolt has been redesigned to now include the track for the sliding doors. So it's hidden now instead of being lower, which really opens up the whole side of the van and makes it look more cohesive and flowing. Here on the back, we've got the nice LED taillight standard on every model with the chrome strip. And something new this year for any Odyssey is we have the power tailgate here, and with the key in my pocket, I can do this. Totally hands-free, you can see I didn't do anything there, just a kick under the bumper, and you can open up the trunk. Now, if your hands are full and you need to close it without pressing that button, what's even cooler is that you can do it to close it right back up again. Very thoughtful on Honda's part, and I really appreciate that. So there's a, a look at the outside and how much Honda's put into that. So let's now take a look at the inside and the cargo space to see how much more thought had been put into those areas. Honda's put a lot of thought into the cabin area for the rear passengers of their Odyssey. So let's check out some of the new innovations. For one, these power sliding doors, while nothing new, have been updated so that if two commands are given to the door at the same time, they don't hit each other and then prove to be fruitless. So now, if two commands are given simultaneously, it's going to open the door or close the door, depending on which was op uh, done first. That way you don't have something opening and closing, opening and closing again. So it's a good, thoughtful feature. Once you open up the van, You'll notice on the EX and above, there are eight passenger vehicles. But what is awesome is that we now have magic slide second row seats. Now what that means for you is that here with this grab handle down at the bottom, you can move these center seats to five different positions. So there are four different modes. They call it easy mode, super mode, wide mode, and buddy mode. Those two outboard seats slide independently of each other. And you can actually now move them forward and backward. You can recline them. You can slide them. So that's great. Gives you a lot of options to separate the kids if they're fighting, to put them together if they are best friends sharing something, some game or something. You can even slide them to the middle and then bring them all the way forward to bring something such as your child in a car seat as close to the driver and front passenger as possible so it's easier to attend to them when something arises. It also makes it easier for this. So you move that over and now I can get right into the back seat. Once I'm back here, it's much nicer than it has been in the past. So we have a good amount of legroom back here, even with these seats all the way back. 
I have plenty of headroom as you can see. This seat is very spacious, you can definitely fit three people in it. And we even have our own vents, headphone controls for the built-in uh, um, rear seat entertainment system. I have a power outlet and I do have my own window shades as well. Plenty of cup holders, we have four, two in each side. There are little uh, trays for whatever odds and ends might find their way into a minivan such as this. And even things have been thought about as a grab right here so that you can lift yourself and get back out. Honda's put a lot of thought into the back of this. It's really evident. A lot of these things are very useful and um, I very much appreciate them. And what's nice is that you can see even with a car seat here, I was still able to move that seat back and forth very easily. So it makes it so no matter how many people you have, no matter what is in your vehicle, what it's in your van, you still have all that flexibility, which is probably why you're looking at a van anyways. As I mentioned, the Odyssey in the EX trim level and above is an eight passenger van. Now, we took out that third middle seat so that we could show you how the magic slide seats work, which we'll give you even a better demonstration of as well. But I thought it would be neat to show you how this all works for the cargo area. So here we have that third seat. I'm just gonna kick under the bumper there and the hands-free trunk does its thing for me. And now I have 38.6 cubic feet of cargo space to stow my stuff. So there, we'll put in that third row seat. But what if I have something that's long? It's not gonna fit here. Well, I can use Honda's magic third row seat and just drop either side of those 60-40 split third row seats. When I do that and flip both of those down, I have 91 cubic feet of space to use. But it's a... Uh, it's the weekend, I'm dad, I've gone to Home Depot or Lowe's, I need to do some home improvement. I don't have a pickup truck, so what do I do? Well, I first shop for a Ridgeline, but then I decide, nah, I don't need one. So I'm gonna take out those two middle seats, which now conveniently just have a lever you cannot do, and they lift right out. If I take out those two, fold these flat, I now have 155.8 cubic feet of space to haul all of my stuff which means that I can now comfortably fit two four by eight pieces of plywood laid right down flat on the floor and still shut this without it crushing anything, which is pretty ideal if you're just your average DIYer having a home project. So that is great. And what's cool too, I'll take this out, smooth that over there, is we have a power outlet here. We can stow some stuff here as well as the emergency fuel filler and we also have Honda Vac available on both top trim levels, no longer just Elite. So here you'll have your Honda Vac with the long reach hose built by Shop Vac specifically for this application, which makes it so you can reach the entire van with the engine running for an endless amount of time or with the van shut off for up to eight minutes of continuous runtime. So no longer can you say that you don't have the ability to vacuum out your van. The Honda Odyssey has been the best selling minivan for seven years in a row. And that's really not hard to understand once you get inside one. They've been researched and designed and developed by Honda Research and Development here in America. They're built in America and a lot of the buyers are young families. When you get in it, you can understand why they're young families. These Odysseys have everything that you could want in a technological sense and they also drive very nicely 
a lot of new innovations went into this model of the Odyssey. One quarter mile. You can hear our navigation system going. And what's really neat about that is with this rear seat entertainment system, Honda invented this app called How Much Farther. If you have children or you've been around children, you have had one of them probably over and over and over ask you how much farther until you get to a destination. Now, with the navigation system set with a destination, you can turn on that rear screen and graphically Honda will show you, or your children rather, how much farther in time, how much farther in distance, how uh, much uh, terrain I think you're going over as well. Turn left on Broadway until you get to your destination, which can help keep them occupied. But what's more than that, Honda also has streaming capabilities. You can now get 4G LTE Wi-Fi sent to the van through AT&T. And I looked it up, an unlimited plan currently, as of the beginning of June in 2017, goes for $20 a month. So if you're planning a large driving trip, it might be worth investing in that 20 bucks for a month to have unlimited data for you and your passengers to enjoy wherever you're headed. There's also something called Cabin Watch. Now what that does is it kind of takes the cabin talk, which is where you can talk to your rear passengers through the headphones or the rear speakers, a step further. So if you turn on Cabin Watch, there's actually a camera up here in the ceiling that looks at the whole rear of the van and it projects the audio, and, or the video rather, onto the new 8-inch center display screen here for your dash so you can monitor everyone and you can even pinch to zoom such as you would on your smartphone or tablet. That is great for parents who may be needing to keep an eye on their kids because they're misbehaving. Maybe you have a newborn that you need to keep right up here front and center but you can't really see them that well because it's a rear-facing car seat. Well now you can keep an eye on them without having to worry. The other neat screen that's in these new Odysseys is right here in the dashboard. I have that navigation set to take us back to our dealership and with the 7 inch TFT display that is now my entire gauge cluster, it's telling me navigation directions. It's telling me how far, it's telling me that I'm going to take a left and even the road name. Really convenient and, and very helpful because there's so much information that you can get just from that. Um, that screen. Here on the Touring and also on the Elite we have the auto start stop system so I've come to a complete stop and the van did shut the engine off to help save fuel and as soon as I take my foot off of the gas it fires back up and I'm good to continue on. Honda has a special battery and alternator system going so that it can keep everything running even with the engine shut off. However it determines if it's too cold out that it won't do that or if it's too hot out whatever the case may be that way the climate control system is always um, the high priority of the vehicle aside from that as you'll notice this is a very modern interior everything is now push button there's not even an actual selector for the transmission it's just the Honda push button system now which opened up a lot of space and that's a great thing because if you're buying a van that's one of the things you're looking for is that space and you find it everywhere. There are cubbies in the doors, front and rear. There's even the little cell phone holders in those rear doors. Honda put a lot of thought into this. And that's no surprise because they've done that before in the other RDCs and in the Pilot as well. Even in their CRV. What's great about this though is that all of that comes together cohesively. So as I take off, I don't have to worry about anything because the van does everything by itself. I have that 10-speed automatic taking care of things. And if for some reason maybe I'm towing or I'm going up a hill, I, I don't like how the van is choosing gears. I actually have paddle shifters on every edition of the Odyssey now. And that's not because Honda's trying to make this a sporty vehicle. They know it's a van. They recognize that. But it allows the driver to have more control over which gear you're in, which can really help out in sticky situations. There's even a snow mode for the current Odyssey. A lot of people ask for all-wheel drive and question Honda as to why they don't have an all-wheel drive Odyssey. Well, I have from Honda the reason why. If they were to implement an all-wheel drive system in their Odyssey minivans, it would actually raise the whole van up. And they don't want to do that because one of the best things about the Odyssey is the easy ingress and egress 
regardless of which row you're getting in because it's a nice flat floor and it's low to the ground. If they were to add their all-wheel drive system, it would raise the van up, it would change the rear suspension geometry so they wouldn't be able to have their magic seat in the third row, and they just don't feel that that's necessary. Instead, they've given this snow mode, which changes how the throttle and the traction control work tremendously so that when you're in that sticky situation where it's really slippery or maybe you're kind of uh, in a sand situation, maybe on the beach, you can hit that and it changes the traction control so that you get the wheel slip that you need to propel the van, but without causing uh, the wheels to just continually spin over and over and over, which can be totally fruitless. So that's an excellent addition here in the 2018 Odyssey. So many different features come standard now on all of them. You get the uh, 18 inch alloys on every van now. No longer do you have the hubcaps, which is fantastic. You get automatic climate control, two zones on the LX and three on the rest of them. Tinted windows come standard on all of them now as well. Just excellent things that help everyone stay comfortable and make your life easier. Oh yeah, you get um, standard Honda sensing now on the EX level and above. That's something that I have on my CRV, and it's fantastic. I use it all the time. There are, of course, the things that are going on in the background that you don't really under, uh, don't really see, such as the lane departure warning and, and lane keep assist, the blind spot monitoring system, which is super helpful, along with the rear cross traffic alert, which I absolutely love, because sometimes you're next to two vehicles that are larger than you, and you can't see to the sides, and the uh, car will actually start beeping at you and let you know if there's a, a car coming into either side when you're backing up, it's fantastic. The automatic braking system warns you in the dash and if you still don't react, we'll start braking the car for you. And the adaptive cruise control is super helpful, especially on a road trip where you're in traffic that's going fast, slow, fast, slow. Maybe you're behind someone that doesn't know what cruise control is or how to use it, and you're getting really frustrated because you tried to set your cruise control and then you have to cancel it immediately because they're slow, and then they floor it and they're fast. Well, this automatic cruise control will keep that distance that you've preset between you. And so you don't have to worry about hitting the gas, hitting the brake, hitting the gas, hitting the brake. It'll do everything for you, which is great. It takes your mind off of all of that. Going down the road, this is a super quiet van. In fact, it's the quietest in its class right now. And Honda's done a lot of work to make sure that is the case. They've upped the torsional rigidity of the body by 44%. They've lightened some of the models up to 75 pounds. They've added acoustic glass. They've added triple door seals. They've added um, the sound deadening in various areas to help really quell the noise. And it's made a huge difference. It's very, very quiet in here. And the whole point of that was because Honda re recognizes that sometimes you're in the third row and you can't hear what the front passengers are saying. And that doesn't really make it fair because then you feel isolated and all alone. So they've tried to make it so that it's easier for families to talk to one another instead of just being on their devices the whole time. As you're driving, it's a minivan, but it doesn't have a wallowy feel to it. It's typical Honda, so it has nice direct steering, it has a firm, compliant ride, it rides very well because of that long wheelbase, and it should, because it's actually built on the same platform as the Pilot, they share the same underpinnings. So this is built on a light truck frame, or unibody, which also allows it to pull, depending on the transmission, 3,000 pounds if you have the 9-speed, or 3,500 with the 10-speed, which is more than enough to carry your boat, carry your camper, carry snowmobiles, whatever the case may be, as well as loading it up with your family and your gear. A lot of design and research have gone into this Odyssey, and it you can tell, you feel it. It drives nicely, it's comfortable, these seats are very comfortable. There's a lot of options. You can get a heated steering wheel now, you can get ventilated front seats. So many options that hadn't been available in the past that really help it stand out among the class. If you're looking into a minivan for whatever your needs may be, whether you're a young family looking for something that's going to uh, fulfill all of your space needs but also not be a total punishing drive, or maybe you're older, you're looking for something that will help you to do uh, your hobbies on the weekend and carry around maybe your grandchildren during the week. This is an excellent fit no matter where you are, anywhere in between. As always, I'm Hollis from Groponi Drive. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week.